Tiffany is working on a project to remediate a municipal groundwater table contaminated with BTEX, a mixture of naturally occurring chemicals found mainly in petroleum products such as gasoline. Which of these treatment technologies will not be effective in removing the contamination? Is it A, vitrification, B, steam stripping, C, bioremediation, or D, air stripping? Pause the video and give yourself five minutes to complete the problem. Have you finished solving the problem? Let's see if you got the correct answer. This lesson focuses on remediation and removal technologies. Environmental remediation deals with the removal of pollution or contaminants from environmental media such as soil, groundwater, sediment, or surface waters. There are several methods and equipment that can be used to reduce and eliminate environmental pollution. These waste products are removed for the protection of human health as well as to restore the environment. Water remediation is the process of removing contaminants from water resources. Groundwater, which is the underground water that saturates porous material, can become polluted by contaminants seeping through the soil and sediment above it. Many areas have experienced groundwater pollution from waste materials that were disposed of or stored incorrectly on land, where they percolated into the soil and were eventually carried down into the groundwater table. Prior to beginning a remediation project, the site in question must be assessed to ascertain what types of contaminants are involved and to determine the most appropriate technologies for cleaning it up. BTEX refers to the chemicals benzene, toluene, ethylbenzene, and xylene. These compounds are volatile organic compounds, also known as VOCs, that are found in petroleum and petroleum products such as gasoline and can be found in seawater in the vicinity of natural gas and petroleum deposits. There are a few ways we can remove VOCs from groundwater. The first process is a process called air stripping that introduces air into the contaminated water in order to create an interface between the air and water surfaces. In an air stripper, VOCs transfer or diffuse from the water into the air due to the concentration gradient, thereby stripping the VOCs from the water. Bioremediation is the use of microorganisms to remove pollutants from the soil or water. This is done either by treating contaminated materials at the site or by removing contaminated materials that are then treated elsewhere. Different microorganisms are used to remove contaminants and are usually uniquely suited for certain types of chemicals. Among these microorganisms may be fungi, bacteria, or certain plant species. Bioremediation is in common use for oil spills because microorganisms are extremely effective in breaking down many of the chemicals found in oil. This technique is often much less expensive than other technologies, but usually takes longer to fully decontaminate a site. Steam stripping is the process that injects stream into an aquifer to mobilize volatile organic compounds and semi-volatile organic compounds. Vapors rise to the near surface soil where they are removed by vacuum extraction and then treated. Vitrification is the process of melting and forming slag and ash waste into glass-like pellets. Heavy metals and toxic compounds cannot leach out and the pellets can then be disposed of in hazardous waste landfills. This is not an effective method for the removal of VOCs, so the answer is A. Join us for episode 26 of 52 PE exam problems in 52 weeks.